since I wasn't here yesterday. John had it covered. How did Little Step Bros versus Free Agents go? And it didn't look good. <laughs> it looks it looks really poor, actually. So we'll see what happens again. Hang on. But hey, Justin's going to score first. That's a perfect start. I mean, they, they're they not confident either. I was listening to Justin, and he was sort of saying, let's just, we know what's going to happen. We're going to get Spanish kickoff on. It's going to be sweaty. Let's just get this one over with. They were happy that they just won a series. But starting off the bat strong there, straight away it's Justin, and he is going to have to put in an almighty shift. I love Rizzo, but, <laughs> I mean, those 26-year-old fingers just ain't got what they used to have. I mean, to be fair, looking at the highlight package from yesterday, free agents, Justin, I mean, Justin and Rizzo had a little bit of, of clips together, but Justin specifically looked like he was doing what was necessary to uh, carry his team here. But I don't know, I got faith. Rizzo, like I said, I was talking earlier about, you know, Kronovi, once a pro, always a pro. Doesn't matter in my mind. So I'm yeah. sure Rizzo will hold it down. I mean, he's, he's battle-hardened, but the thing, you, you mentioned the clips, you know, the two-man, the pre-jump pass plays. What you didn't see was the nine that didn't go in before the ten that went in, <laughs> and all the goals they conceded trying to do it. So, um, they're certainly certainly entertaining uh, watching the free agents. However, just didn't quite get the results that they would have loved yesterday. Having said that, today's a new day. Rizzo said he's feeling better, he's feeling more prepared. The fingers are more warmed up somehow, and... Well, we'll see how that goes. And Lil Step Bros on the other side of things as well. Too. They dropped their first game uh, in the first series today. The first game of the tournament so far. So perhaps they are beatable. So you, you, you keyed on something that I think I picked up, which is that they were worried about getting Spanish kicked off. Did you see, did AJ and Lil Step Bros, did they actually are they're doing 2v2 kickoff strats? Because if oh, so, they, then I understand why they did so well. Yeah, this is this is a uh, you're playing a top twenty ranked two v two lobby when you're playing the the <laughs> step bros. I think these guys are pulling out everything that you'd expect to see. The low fifties, the Spanish kickoff, the fake kickoff. They're going for everything. This is a completely serious tournament for these guys. And tuning into AJ stream as well, by the way, you can tune into all of these guys' streams. I mean, their comms are very serious. They probably have the best comms I've heard so far out of all the duos. Well, I'm glad to see that all of the tweets that have complained about these 2v2 kickoff strats, you know, and everybody saying they wish no one did them, I'm glad that they're finally paying off for some cash prize for the people who are willing to do them. Mm, that's, well, I don't know about <laughs> that. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, we do like seeing the kickoff strats, but when you just spam the same thing time and time again, it does come on, like, come on, do something new. But you know, from what I've seen for the little step, little step bros, they have... Uh, a lot of tricks up their sleeve and have been pulling all of them out. But here's Rizzo trying to Rizzo, make go Mackie. the bump and almost <laughs> just couldn't quite find the line. Little Mekki, now he's left Justin all alone. AJ is going to get stopped though. Rizzo back in time. Never doubted for a second. Ooh, wait, two touches in a row? Almost. They're in trouble. Oh, undercut him to make it an easy shot. So is the honeymoon period of free agents winning over? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, I think the problem there was that Justin just didn't didn't trust Rizzo for that first save and it put him in such a, a precarious position. Couldn't quite get the follow up, getting bumped on the line as well. First goal on the board for Little Step Bros tying this one up, and I have to say that you know if if free agents were going to be able to take this first one, they needed to start strong because Little Step Bros are going to be growing in confidence. Having said that, I'm surprised. I'm happily surprised so far for you by the free agents. Yeah, I mean, if it weren't for the fact that I knew how yesterday went, this has looked like a fairly equal matchup. It's a good dunk by Justin. But there's been a lot of times where little step bros seem like they're being given the entire field and Rizzo and Justin are just trying to react to these takes. But right now, they're doing okay because they haven't been broken down. That doesn't seem like something they could get away with forever. Rizzo, with a bit of space, is just going to put the ball on the back wall and Alpha Cap. Dunking with Justin, this is potentially playable, but Rizzo's gone all the way back to the back corner. And so now we're going to see some Rizzo mech. Surely he tries to do something here. No, he's just going to take the dunk and leave it to Justin. I think that on paper, this free agents, I, I think they have a good combo. You know, Rizzo's a very straight up and down, no nonsense sort of player, um, given that given his demographic age-wise. And, and then Justin's sort of that. <laughs> I'm not sure if even Justin knows what he's doing sometimes. He's sort of just making it up on the spot. So surely you'd think that having that one-two punch, um, just the versatility, how dynamic they are, 
would, would play into their, I don't know, it'd just be a positive for them, surely. I mean, I looked at the previous day's scores. We're talking 8-2, 7-2, 8-1, 7-3. I think for sure this is going to be an improvement. Hmm. Obviously, they're playing better, or maybe little step rows are a step behind. But this is, I mean, this could be a game win. We could still be talking about a game win. Kep's going to launch this ball. Luckily, we got free agent Justin to be able to easily get this out of the orange half. Ten seconds left to go. It's going to be Rizzo who might have to shoot this if there is an opportunity. But it's cleared out. Oh, no, he's giving Rizzo it up. Undercuts. AJ is he going to try and keep it up. He's not going to be able to. So overtime, I want to see something on the kickoff. This is impressive. I'm impressed already here from from uh, from free agents. I say, as you said, it was so one-sided yesterday. Here they are showing up. He tries to get the dunk. Where is Rizzo? Alpha keeps going. He has to be fast. <gasps> That's a massive dunk. It's got target. No oh. AJ somehow saves it. That should have been the goal. Rizzo did everything right, but put it on net. Can he do it now? He's doing it all himself. Pop over Alpha Kep. There's AJ again. Could just mean now it's a one on one down the other end. AJ and, and Justin. Justin has to get back to 50s coming through. Rizzo has been impressive, but where's the finishing touch fit? Oh, Rizzo had a flashback there. Justin didn't want to fully commit to it. I mean, he played it a little bit safer. Demo. I think there's a world in which he could have tried to dunk it and force it for Rizzo, you know, give him his star moment, but he did play it safer. <laughs> And they have possession now. They're still in this game. Justin Stribble didn't really go anywhere. So back pass to Rizzo, who's going to clear it in front of his net. But certainly you have Justin on the team. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's going to be enough. <laughs> uh, Rizzo's touch wasn't fantastic here off the sidewall. And Justin, all he could do was go for the 50. So awkward front post. Alpha Kep gets the clean up. Free agents. That was the one that got away there in game number one. But... Little Step Row, such a solid team. You know what you're going to get with those guys. And you can see it there, dominating the ball possession. However, you can see free agents. Field domination, 51%. They'll take that 1% win. Okay. And uh, throwing up 14 shots to 10 as well. So nearly every stat there feared, telling me that free agents had the pressure, had the control, but just could not put that ball in the back of the net. Yeah, I think the world we all wanted was that last play to work out. I mean, unfortunately, Rizzo went from almost peaking to, you know, being the hero for his team to the very unfortunate back pass in front of his net and Justin couldn't save it. Also, a, a whopping huge 250 points for Rizzo. You know, I mean, he was relevant in this game. Sure, it looks a little bit less than everybody else, but he was just one goal away from being the hero. Yeah, that's, that's the most score that he's ever got throughout his career. So he'll be stoked <laughs> with that one. And I mean, the only way is up for, for those guys as well. It was a better result than what we saw yesterday. As you said, it went to overtime. Not many players, not many teams have taken a little step rows to overtime so far. So I don't know whether is is this as much um, free agents stepping up or is it little step rows having a bit of a, a down day compared to yesterday? As you said, they went 12-0 and yesterday. They dropped their first game in the first round today and already having troubles against free agents. I mean, honestly, if I had to guess, I'd have to go back and watch the, the bots, but I think when, it, when a game is eight goals, I don't know if AJ and Alpha Kep can play that much better. To me, that, that smells of some free open nets that might have been gifted to them by free agents. So I'm going to go ahead and say that free agents have cleaned it up a little bit. And Rizzo, he wanted to go bump. Rizzo wanted to go right back to his roots. He likes it when he's ramming the car and not the ball, but unfortunately... He did not connect, and Cap's just going to dunk this in for a goal. Yeah, so smart from Cap there. It was sort of a two-on-one down one end and quickly turned into a two-on-one the other way, but Alpha Cap knowing he doesn't want to put himself in an awkward spot. Happy to challenge down that end of the field and gets the reward for a goal. Is there going to be another one here? Where is Rizzo? Waiting for him to come in, and oh, he does fire it on net. It was like just watching an old man <laughs> just wander down the field. AJ almost... Getting back with Rizzo. Boom! Oh that. my goodness, Rizzo. It takes some heat off of it, bud. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. Hey, it worked out. And maybe a little kickoff fake. I don't know if it almost seemed like Kep wasn't necessarily perfectly ready for that, but I mean, AJ does lose to his possession. Rizzo Where is he going? up in the air, dropping it to AJ. Justin oh, is going to die. Alpha Kep should be shooting on an open net, though, so. That's going to be an easy bucket. Yeah, uh, Rizzo, again, just drops it straight down to AJ. Justin had to go. Rizzo jumping around, but... 
Kev getting the open net. Little step bros are going to capitalise if they make those positional mistakes or defensive mistakes. And well, oh, there it is again. Free agents. Just well, oh, the double the fake. <laughs> oh my goodness, Rizzo's fifty to like a god. Can he come through? Get yes, there. he can. <gasps> Rizzo, he is the striker of this game. Another banger of a shot. He actually brought it towards Alpha Kep there for a second just to make it interesting, but that's because he's a man who loves content. I see it, but I don't believe it. The double fake, everything coming out. Can we get a double Spanish or something now? Or both sides certainly in their own heads, but it's coming away free ages. Justin off the ceiling, gets one, gets two. Alpha Kep, great challenge. AJ just going forward. Rizzo backing so far off. Does not want to have the possibility of a one on one against AJ, but. The speed from him, he does pass it to Alpha Kev. That's great patience. But look at Rizzo getting involved. It looks like he's playing it like a, a genuine twos rank match, and that's fired on net off the post wide. Justin follow up, free agents have the lead. They looked amazing on that possession. Kept grabbing the midfield, and, and Justin, man, he thought he saw a sliver that was available, and actually wasn't. But it worked out perfectly that he missed. Instead, got some post and crossbar, and it passed out a perfect opportunity for him. Alpha Kev. Not doing a bad idea going in and out of the net to try and keep his momentum and defense as opposed to just slamming the brakes. But Justin is the pro for this team, and he is always going to slot that. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell who is the pro for free agents. Just such a well-oiled machine, such a well-rounded team. <laughs> Rizzo just there. It is again. Just with the fake in the back post, leaving it for Justin. And phenomenal play in defense again from the free agents. That's a great pitch. Rizzo has to go. Does well again. The pro on free agents stepping up. And getting dunked, but just leaving it for the creator in Justin to do his thing. Yeah, you know, I think I'm looking over at my list uh, on Twitch, and I, I think you're right. I think Justin is the creator. Ooh, what a save. AJ getting pressured, able to make that save. Luckily, they do have Rizzo, who is on the team for his skill, not his content creation. Kep's got a big dribble. I want to see what we have in store. AJ is trying to chase down Justin right now. So for some reason, he seems more worried about Justin being off the field and not Rizzo. Not really sure why that is. Hmm, and uh, it doesn't work, obviously, as Justin tries to go to work. Yeah, I'm not sure about just trying to take out the creator, but here is Rizzo faking everyone out. Great 50. Alvin keeps in big trouble. Great <laughs> save, though. Well, Rizzo, when he's circling like a shark, it is so dangerous for any player in the world to face in defense, but... As well there, and look at the follow-up. The important thing about free agents today, Fear, they spoke about it after their first series win, is that they probably overthought how to play twos yesterday, but their focus today is just don't think, play like it's ranked, and we're seeing it here. Rizzo stepping up. He's used to those top 100, top 10 lobbies in twos. And great positioning as well, just able to get eight touches on that one. And honestly, they're looking like the faster team. They're, they're ball chasing, but it's working. Alpha has to make the save, does well. Free agent certainly in control in game two. Yeah, they're holding down boost. AJ is trying to go the entire distance of the field. Lost it just a little bit of height towards the end of that dribble that he probably would have needed to make that bump effective. But Justin's one on one, and he's going to get nothing out of it. But that's OK. You're just the creator for the team. Yep. Rizzo will clean up everything when he needs to. Rizzo, nice 50. Justin can't get back to the ball. Kept dropping it down. That ball's going to roll to AJ. It's a 1v1 situation. AJ wants to go for the cringe, but Justin is the anti-cringe. And never mind, it's not. <laughs> this ball still falls in. I was about to say, Justin is, is a sneaky good 1v1 player when he does show up. Seen him on a, a couple of show matches. However, I mean, the bump was just enough. Put all his momentum falling into his own net. He did get a touch on the ball, but not enough to change that trajectory. And we have a tie ball game again. This is another close one here. Certainly a big difference from yesterday. Perhaps, as you said, Rizzo, the professional player for G2 Esports, just, just stepping up. Is, is this 2017? I'm just... I think so. I, I want to wait to see if, if this gets scored. <laughs> but yeah, I think so. Yeah, Rizzo chasing this one down. Kept looking slow. Maybe not the best landing there on the wall. But... You know, the little step rows had to resort to an air dribble bump, which a game of Rocket League is always just about who can wait to resort to the air dribble bump the longest. And clearly, little step rows are reaching into the back pocket for it. So they're getting scared. AJ mm. is one of the better wall dashers, so he's going to try and dash down, get himself demoed. Rizzo will clear this one away, but it's going to go right into AJ's hands. Kep's going to demo back. Justin, I like how he's challenging early, though. 
He is not letting these guys get started on their dribble and keeping it in the blue half. Yeah, Justin just flat out ball chasing. And that's got to work when you've got one of the best defenders in the world behind you in Rizzo. <laughs> just look at the shadow defense. Keeping on the ball. Gets one, gets two. Great 50. Helping out his teammate. They're the unrewarded things that you don't quite see every day. But Rizzo just so polished. And he'll do it again here. He'll be able to clean up. Just pops the ball straight to AJ, who was almost caught by surprise. And that's going to be a goal. So really well <laughs> done by Rizzo. AJ, great goal in the 1v1. They might have pinched game two as well, little step bros. You know, they left Rizzo back as the defender. Justin, you know, the less skilled player, they let him go just try and be a demoer. And sometimes your creator is going to miss the demo, and that's when the pro just has to step up. But Rizzo couldn't do it. They Hang have on. a second to Hang work on. with, though. Hang on! Wait a minute! It's on! Alfred Kemp, what a great save. Free agent, surely. Can they pinch this? AJ just wants this one down, finds it. Rizzo was on the hunt. He was trying to find Alfred Kemp in net, <laughs> but he just couldn't get anybody on. And Lil Stepros, 2-0 now. Fear, two one-goal games, two basically overtime finishes apart from that. I mean, zero second goals, overtimes. This series has had everything compared to what we saw in the first series of the day. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed with free agents. Little Step Bros, I think we knew what we were going to get with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, with only the air dribble bump, goal really being the separator, this is the kind of one you go to Twitter afterwards and you say something about the other team and how they have no skill and all they know is air dribble bumping. And then you basically have the win after you've done that. You might yeah. not get the prize, but you mentally have the win. So Justin and Rizzo have that in their back pocket if they can't turn it around for the rest of this game. But by all means, they could. They, you know, they've been playing fairly well and so I, I believe in the dream yeah they've had more again that was the seven shots apiece in game one free agents had more shots again so they are the team that is is pressuring uh a little step pros which is interesting i wouldn't expect that from a team with aj and alpha kev you would have thought those guys would always be on the offense but that's what you get with rizzo you know one of the best players in the world always happy to step up and you know just just so malleable as well. Whoever he plays with, he's happy to just work around. If Justin wants the ball chase, Rizzo will lock it down. Unfortunately, AJ just got the better of him uh, at the death there in the last 10 seconds. But I think free agents could bring this one back, baby. I know they're 2-0 down. They've been reverse swept in a best of seven yesterday. It's time for them to do some reverse sweeping and see what they've got in store. They've got a lot in store. R Rizzo maybe finished both matches with the lowest score, but I think because they don't track the intangibles. You know, he's the kind of guy who is everywhere that the score is not for helping his team. You know right what now they he's don't track? Super passive. You know but. what they don't track? Effort. And that's what Rizzo puts in <laughs> every, every single time. And look, it might be a bad time to start talking about his effort, but I mean, he gave this 110% trying to challenge this. You know, he might have missed it by three balls, but... Great flick over the top. Nothing he could have done. I don't think Rawas could have saved that one. Mm -mm. Here, so you can't blame him for that. Another fake kickoff coming through from Little Step Bros. This is what you love. I mean, I, I think it's effective. <laughs> so I was surprised to not see anybody with some money on the line go for it. And I would argue that this is me being a bit correct about that because it does turn into kept launching the ball for this double. And Justin, wow. I, I can't see how close he was from AJ's perspective, but... That's a speedy double, and hopefully this doesn't get out of hand. Free agents have been doing well so far, but this one is certainly threatening to go that way. Yeah, they need to lock it again. Unfortunately, if, you know, if that was Rizzo back, they would have saved it. This is going to be another goal. AJ just throws it on there straight <laughs> off the kickoff. The worst case scenario for free agents. This might be looking like a day one result now. Rizzo going boost over ball. Mm. Oh, no. That is just one of the unwritten rules of Rocket League. You cannot do that, my friend. Yeah, but see, what Rizzo was thinking is that on this next kickoff, he's going to have a bit extra now to work with, Ooh. and he'll just uh, he'll be able to convert that for a goal. I think that was the thought process there. Ooh, AJ and Alpha Kep are going from full sweat to starting to go for pre-jump passes up the ceiling, so it's getting dire, but I know my man Rizzo, and he, he could definitely bring it back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, are, are you sure about that? <laughs> what a shot wow. what a pre-jump hit that flick yeah. perfectly found aj he was up so early and well free agents i mean as you said this is uh 
when things go bad for this team, it goes from bad to worse. As we said, they have been reverse swept in the best of seven. We we have to start questioning their mentality, their mindset. Justin, this is fantastic off the ceiling. Yeah. But just, just too much angle on the shot. Rizzo with the follow-up surely can put this one away. No, just just passes it again to AJ. Now out the cap. He's got a reset. Justin's in trouble. Goes straight off the ceiling with the save. Pass downfield. AJ, great cut off. Rizzo getting back, looking to block that infield. Look at him go now. He's got space, surely. What can Rizzo do? He goes up the sidewall. He rotates back. He looks for the corner boost and he picks it up. Great pickup. Absolutely legendary pickup by Rizzo. Rizzo has an opportunity to shine right now. That net looks like a great opportunity to pass back to your teammates. And he's got himself a goal. Rizzo did it all. Justin Tappin Merchant. Luckily, he's got a lot of tap-ins when he's playing with this guy. Yeah, that's that's just, I mean, do, do you want to spoon feed him a goal? He teed that one up and said, whack it here and put it in the back of their net. Justin, fantastic finish. Great setup from Rizzo. Who else? And I mean, this is where, you know, good players become great. This is this is what separates the, the mediocre. The, oh, the, let's say they're great players from the legendary. And Rizzo is certainly a legendary player. Here he is again. Just have a look at the poise, the confidence. The other kept up high. Rizzo gets it around one. Pops it around two. 50 around three. He wants that corner boost. Can he get it? Gets the bump. He's doing everything. Justin now goes for the 50. Where is Rizzo? Another win. Outpacing everyone. Three agents. They might be three goals down. They're playing like they're 10 goals up. Oh, Rizzo, he is just doing everything on the field. You love to see it. But I, I did notice, and one thing I wanted to point out, because Justin, who is streaming right now, you can check out yep. Justin. I also like his car design for the Porsche 911. Exactly. And if you ever want to, to look at new items, it, like you ever want to watch somebody look at the new items, Justin is the place to go to. He instantly gets every possible variant of everything that he can have and starts working on car designs. So Justin is the place to go to, and this is what he's showing off today for the big show. Yeah, he's, he's certainly been a... I think he's got thousands of presets. I'm not sure what the cap is, but... I mean, Rizzo, he's not about the designs. He's about the Ws. And look at the double demo coming through. <laughs> Rizzo instantly turns on the ball. Justin going for more bumps. The flick over the top. Alvin Kemp gets back. But Rizzo knew that was going to happen. They're going to keep the pressure on. Here is Rizzo again. A fantastic fake over to Justin, who didn't read it. As Alpha Kemp throws the in. Oh, but what guess a who? Guess who's here for the cleanup crew? <laughs> it's Rizzo. Rizzo pre-jump in this challenge. Gets Alpha Kemp to go slow. Oh, Alpha Kemp's lost. AJ's lost at the midfield as well. Rizzo forcing it all the way to the back wall. Trying to give Justin the easiest thing to work with. But, you know, Justin hasn't really... Been holding up his end of the bargain, but that's okay. Rizzo half flipping right now. I mean, if he can't get to it, nobody can. And that couldn't possibly have been saved. So it's it's really hard to blame Rizzo there. Yeah, this is zero chance that he saves that. I mean, he could not have flipped any other way right there. And just gets bumped, unfortunately. Great goal by AJ. That's his fourth of the game. Four of five on the side of Lil Steph Bros. 5-1 now, There's, they're four goals down. If anyone can do it, it's gonna be free agents, but it has to start now, and it has to start with better kickoffs than that. Ooh, Rizzo with the ball, that's what it needs to start with. Look at him dicing oh, up the field, lobbing it up. Come on, Justin, now you can't work with that. I guess, I guess Rizzo will go on the ball again, and look at him go. He is just in his natural habitat when he gets to dive on the ball. For some reason, Justin's all the way back here in his own half like he doesn't believe. And he's really been given no reason not to believe all game long. So I'm sure they'll have a talk about that after this match. Alpha Kep, he's trying to go the distance. He's trying to strike when Rizzo's not there. The only other time you'll ever be able to score. Ooh, Rizzo, a little faith dash as well. He's, he's getting to work. And I mean, as you said, they need to have a team chat because Justin, I mean, he should have put that one away. What more can Rizzo <laughs> do here? Here he is again. There's a pop over the top. He gets the bump as well on AJ, but unfortunately just dodges that one. Justin, can he get one more? Rizzo's going to put this one away. Bang! Yeah. He'll do it all himself. He'll do it all himself. Rizzo is trying to be a team player. Yep. He gave yep. multiple different opportunities. He said, Justin, this is how you do it. When your teammate gives you an opportunity, you slide it like this. Yep. So hopefully Justin can learn a couple lessons from, you know, the veteran of the game. And it, I think it's a little bit too late for now, but it is a double elimination bracket, unless they have some kickoff strategies, which historically they haven't been doing. And uh, as you can see, it's Alpha Camp and AJ who have been doing them. So this one's over. 
But free agents, you know, I think if Justin could be a bit more like Rizzo, they might have a good run in the lower bracket. Yeah, Rizzo, Rizzo unfortunately just, just ate that demo. I mean, there's nothing he could do to get out of that one on the Spanish kickoff. That's how effective that is. And, you know, you mentioned it before, the air dribble fringe, the Spanish kickoff. That's what you pull when, when you've just got nothing else that you can possibly mm -hmm. do. And that just goes to show it's, it's a credit to just how good the free agents have been but it's going to be a little step bros getting the sweep over free agents the first two games were close the third one Rizzo decided to head down to the lower bracket so that's what happened in this one as you see 1087 points from AJ as well a great game from him five sausage rolls on the board I mean they absolutely dominated this one and free agents put up a good fight but in the end it just I mean, maybe they just want to make the lower bracket run. Let's say that.